Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, ZPL. <laughs> There aren't, aren't too many tracks this week to uh, showcase since I did the majority of them on Tuesday, I believe. Because that was uh, the last day of 2019. The last... <clears throat> the last day of the decade... was never able to get um, the best track of 2019 to work. The best custom track of 2019 to work. I always um, had an issue, so I basically just did... I basically scrapped that one for a while. But it seems to do that before the track's even loaded, so... Part of me thinks that uh, there might be something within the cameras or s something along those lines that may cause that t issue. Oh, yeah. So for our first track, we're going to do... Snow, Snowbound Slopes, the beta version by Taco Josh. This is the first track of the new year. And it looks really good, f even from like the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, this is, looks really good. <laughs> Although I will say that uh, the minimap looks an awful lot like a Y. Goddamn phone. Always has to honk at me. Oh, thank you for the follow, Skipper. Candy canes look really nice. The track itself looks pretty nice in general. It's a good way to start off uh, the the decade of 2020. I'll have to remember that if we ever get pa pa to uh, 2030. That. Um, this is going to be a candidate. It has to be a candidate. Of course, um, by the time it reaches that, I'd probably be about 36. It doesn't matter to me if it's like three or five tracks, to be honest. Because it's around the same length as uh, GCN Mario Circuit. Or something that's underneath two minutes.
it's certainly a great way to start the new decade with this track. I'm looking forward to uh, the uh, to version 1.0 of it. Next up, we've got uh, LGMB's test track. And there's a New Year's version and a and an original version. Looks like it's very much based off the t Chinese New Year. I'd say it's a mixture of both China and Japan. <laughs> Since uh, before, before imperialist Japan, Japan and China were very similar in culture. Though, un while China basically uh, didn't want uh, any sort of foreign rule over it or even want to integrate fully, Japan was a little more open to it. I think they just wanted to uh, become the new powerhouses and they did for a while. But then the United States neutered them in World War II with the two bombings. Oh, there's a path underneath. Okay. Though, uh, both China and Japan now have, like, their own animated and, uh, written uh, forms of media. And then again, so does Korea South Korea. So we get, like, a lot of stuff from them. But they also get a lot of stuff from everyone else, like, say, the United States, Canada, France the UK, Germany, etc. In fact, a lot of anime is based off of uh, Disney. It's a pretty nice track, that's for sure. And this one's based on the Chinese New Year, I believe. All these test tracks seem to be pretty decent. Much better than, uh, say, Puerto's Bathroom or Family Beach, for example. Next up, we've got the, uh, the original version of the test track, so let's give that a shot and see how how different it is from uh, the Chinese New Year one. Oh, I see. It's... It is supposed to be a test track. It just doesn't have any of the visual flair, so that's fine. And certainly got measurements for um, everything here. Uh oh.
Oh, damn it. Oh no, not again. I think the New Year version is actually much better in my opinion, but the purpose of the test track is just to test uh, things within it. So it's not like uh, it's going to be the most important thing to show off. Next up we've got... Sandcastle Beach version 1.2 by Wappa Jeffy, updated by Huili. And I'm honestly, and I still don't like the track even after many of its um, updates and all that. And I'm glad that that track's nowhere near on that list. For top, for like a top 10 uh, of the decade, it's like, no. This thing's not even close. It would be closer to the bottom 10. Or if it's like top 10 worst tracks. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Oh, okay. Oof. This will do. Hi. Yeah, it is quite nice to actually play many of the tracks. Of course, this one's. This track in particular is just. pretty bad, just given the design. If someone were to uh, remake it and make it so that it's, uh, it's much easier to actually drive through it, say, not having these tight spots, then I think it might have some potential. Oh, well, we've got Sandcastle Park, which is already an infinitely nicer track. Thank you for the follow, Rock Dude Gamer. <laughs> Just 
so many crabs here. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh. Come on. Damn it. No. Whoa! We're almost done with this one. <sighs> well, at least we can go on to a track that plays better. And I decided to add these two in because I don't think I've actually played through them yet. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, WSR Bowling by LGMB. And this one's actually an April Fool's joke from last year, but I really wanted to play it unironically. Welcome back, ZPL. <laughs> it's time to do a bit of bowling. No, this didn't. I just uh, actually didn't play through it bef before. I don't think I did, but... It's something I really wanted to play through again. Oh, hey, potato. It's technically one of those 16 lap tracks. Ah! Oh, 
Yeah, I think it would work even better as a battle arena. If there was a bowling version. Because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe got pretty creative with uh, battle mode. At least with a couple of the new ones out there. A lot of them are from uh, Double Dash. And there was uh, Coin Runner, which was in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. I don't remember if it was in Mario Kart 7. Thirty-two lap track, which means you could just keep going and going. Ah! Right. Sh shine runners, but. Uh, Every single Mario Kart has Balloon Battle. That's for sure. Except, uh... Mario Kart Tour, I believe. Mario Kart Wii's uh, battle mode is basically just... You can only play on teams. Probably the only weakness I can think of. Yeah, Mario Kart 7 didn't have teams on there. I think it did uh, battle mode better than Mario Kart Wii. Though, uh, single player versus mode does not exist in Mario Kart 7, which is probably the biggest thing that I didn't like about it. Everything else I could just uh, hand wave, but the lack of... Uh, Single player versus mode is a bit of a pain, especially since that's what we've come to expect since Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart Super Circuit had it as well, come to think of it. Though the, uh, the, the rival pattern's always been much more predictable. Like, you'll get the same one for GP on the first track for every, uh, cup but everyone everything afterwards is basically reversed which is what I noticed but it is fun to set up like bananas At least at the uh, looping areas like in Cheeseland, Mario Circuit 2, and uh, well I wouldn't say, I would say Ribbon Road, but I always just take the shortcut since it's a little faster.
Ow. It's hard to tell who's even in second anymore. There we go. Pretty long track, but... Next up, we've got Callum's Corner Circuit by... Um Rosalina speedruns. It's also something that I don't recall actually recording, so I'm going to do it uh, within this uh, time frame. And, and then we should resume back to um, stuff that's on the um, January 2020 Wiki News stuff. Oh, hey, systems. I see you're using a four instead of a three. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, the soccer ball. With all these random in images as well. <gasps> that was so close. Yeah, I think that would be fair. Ah, it's hard to tell the the walls from the road.
comes the worst part. The worst part of this track, at least. Agreed. It's just, like, so hard to tell where, uh, where to drive because they're the exact same texture. It's like, it'd be a little easier if there was, say, a, uh, a texture in the corner that made it a little more distinguishable. And then you could tell where the, uh, where the road ends and where the wall begins. Yeah, that's true. Just like the Roblox one. That's true, you can make solid colors work in some cases, as long as, um... You can make it more distinguishable. Yeah. With Neon Dimension, it's like, um... The linings that uh, make it separate. Although parts of uh, Neon Dimension could be a little hard to play through. And you gotta make sure you have something like a inward drifting bike. Which is normally just the meta anyways. Right. Though I do, th I have an idea for what the perfect uh, music theme would be for that track. It would be like Moonside from Earthbound would be perfect for that. I'm just getting on to the last segment now, which should be just. A few short minutes. I agree. It's more of an artistic showcase to see how beautiful you can make a track. And less about its um, functionality, per se. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Um, with red. Red loop, there's just so much happening. The AI param is what I really hated about um, the loop tracks in general. Just because of how um, they were just uh, phoned in.
the red loop, it's kind of ridiculous with all the fireballs all over the place. I understand, it's not very exciting to play on those tracks. <laughs> Agreed, it's just incredibly hostile. If some of the f fireballs or potabos were removed, it'd probably be much more tolerable. It's almost the equivalent of some of those uh, game mods where uh, where they make the game way too difficult for the majority of the player base. Like this Super Mario World one where all you do is die. Like there's no ground f for you st to step on. It's like, why even make it? It's so pointless. It must be the lowest quality of um, mods that someone can make is make it so it's almost impossible to play through. Which I'd assume would be more of a, a joke someone would play on their friends or le creepy pasta. Because there's a lot of pretty terribly written ones that are based on, like, video games. And a lot of them are based on Sonic.exe. Or some of the Pokemon ones. Next up we've got Snowy Circuit ver Snowy Circuit 2 version 2.7 by Putinas and updated by Weem. I think Red Loop would do far better with, like, much less chaos in the track. I can say about Callum's corner circuit is that it's playable but not much else to it. It's one of your average long tracks. This one at least has some theme to it but it definitely uh, originates from a long time ago. This used to have like a much darker skybox, but it's a lot brighter now. Well, I think the last couple of updates made the skybox much brighter. 
along with uh, its predecessor. A little unfortunate. I actually really like ASDF course. Even if it's just the nostalgic part of me speaking, it's actually one of those more random tracks that really doesn't pop up anymore. It actually used to be like where Gilmon would make plenty of these random tracks. I will say that it doesn't have much else to it, though it, I certainly like the original over Retro Style 12's remake, remake of it. Now that one is, uh, a lot of Retro Style 12's tracks are a little eh, at least in my opinion. Sometimes the visual flair is pretty nice, and then sometimes it just doesn't help at all. Next up, we've got Honey Bee Hideout by Taco Josh. This is version 1.3. Whoa! He did? All right, I'll have to check if he did make another release. So. Yeah. Looks like another um thing was released during this time, so. It's just weird that it decided to crash now. Hmm. It says in Weems SES tools that it's missing a man missing mandatory checkpoint with mode 3 Th but that's a hint huh but it looks like uh there's something else to add into the showcase
that might be possible if there's been any major changes in the um, model itself, and it doesn't seem to be the case. Could be a different uh, BRES file though, because there's something uh, related to Crescent 64 that's causing a crash. Either that, or it just had a bit of a a derp moment, and it does happen. I really hope it is one of those derpy moments for my Wii U. Alright, uh, take care, systems. Let's see. Go in here. Hmm, I could probably just re-download it just in case. Let's just see if it worked. If it doesn't, then I'll probably have to put that on hold or something. It's just that. <laughs> it's annoying when it happens multiple times. Oh, Troy is streaming as well. Ah. Yeah, that's true. I think it's because uh, they wanted they wanted to add a bit more uh, 
visual appeal to the tracks. Let's just hope it works. Just want to see if it works. Please don't crash. Oh, hey, ZPL. Let's just hope this one doesn't crash again. Don't give me the green screen. Ah, damn it. Honeybee Hideout version 1.3 seems to be having issues. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm playing on a Wii U or anything, but uh, something seems to be wrong. So I'm just going to skip that one for now. I just don't know what happened there. So we're just going to go with uh, Funky's Dream version 1.2 by Alex97 and updated by Huili. I just hope that it's working for everyone else because... Could just be my derpy system. And I'm having something similar happen in the best track, best custom track of 2019 that Redef Redefi made a, like a couple of days ago.
this winding road is actually pretty nice looking. Ah! I just went through, put that part. Whoa, that was close. Oh, thank you for the host, Kanto. How, how's it going? Whoa! Just slipped off. Hmm. All right. Next up, we've got the first texture hack of the year, Heart of Farm by Dark. And thank you for the host, Potato Man. Thank you for the follow, Aaron Mall Leader. Ooh, these are pretty nice post effects. It's like we're underneath the stars.
There we go. Next up, we've got Flying Dutchman Beach, also by Dark. Ah. I'm the Flying Dutchman! Oh look, it's all those Mr. Krabs and his uh, arg 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 args. Hello, I'm Mr. Krabs and I love money. Arg 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 arg. -ar. SpongeBob! Get back to work and start making me more money! Arg 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 arg! Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? Ouch! What happened there? That's insane. What an insane race. They wanted to... They wanted out of the Flying Dutchman's ship. After all, insulting a man's ship is worse than insulting his mother. <laughs> Next up we've got Final Grounds version 2.4 by Megacart69. Alright, so it is here. I don't know if that was a bit of a slowdown. Ow.
Whoa. Oh. The doors to the Lost Fortress have been opened. I read about that being the part of the latest update for this track, so... It's not uh, misleading. Ow. Ah. Uh. Shit. Well, let's just go through this. The shortcut. Nice. Ow. Getting close to the end of this one. But the doors have opened, and now we're ready to take on the Lost Fortress in these final grounds. Getting closer. Next up, we've got uh, Haunted Parkway by Cooper Hacks, and this is going to be the last one for this week. I already did the large portion of it in an earlier stream back on Tuesday.
Whoa. Yeah, I agree. The textures in general here could be a little bit better. <laughs> kind of reminds me more of uh, one of the older ones of from Darky Benji. I think it was the forest one. Should probably give uh, Honeybee Hideout another chance to see if it's working. If version 1.3 is working, then great. But if it's still not working after all that, then I'm then it's gonna just be a little upsetting. Let's see if it works. It doesn't seem to be loading yet. I don't think it's loading. Yep. That means that um, I'll probably be ending the stream soon. So, uh, thank you. Thank you all for coming and watching my stream. Make sure to follow me to subscribe on YouTube, my channel, and follow me on Twitch if you've not done so already. And thank you all for watching. I'm just going to... See if I can host... But I'm just going to end the stream now. Uh, thank you all for watching. And take care.